Welcome to another edition of Outer Remain Reviews, and today I'm here to review SmackDown. And before we get to the review, I wanted to uh, bring up a tweet that Triple H sent out earlier today. He has invited Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather to Raw. They are on their world tour press conference. Um, they've uh, they did their first show tonight. Uh, they have three more, so he's invited them to come to Raw on Monday night. Um, and sure, it will not be PG after watching tonight. Uh, so that would uh, that'd be really cool. But I don't see that happening at all. But um, I I mean, both of them, both our personalities fit right in with the WWE. So that would be a, uh, that, I think that was at least a smart move by uh, Triple H and WWE to at least put it out there and invite them. I mean, even though it's probably not going to happen. Oh, I mean. If they, that being said, it's not going to be PG. So SmackDown here, um, I think Nakamura is facing Baron Corbin on this show. Uh, I really hope Nakamura wins. I think Corbin fucking sucks. So show is starting now. So AJ Styles comes out. If you don't know, he won the. Well, uh, if you watch the show, you already know. But he won the uh, he won the U.S. title of the host show in Madison Square Garden over the weekend. That's really rare. Uh, I think they did. It's also because of Madison Square Garden's the main reason I believe it happened. But uh, that was definitely a cool moment. And they're in San Antonio, so they're continuing their tour of Texas. The pay per view, Great Balls, was uh, Dallas last night when Raw was Houston, which had a shitty crowd. So hopefully, San Antonio uh, tonight for SmackDown has a better crowd. So AJ Styles comes out, gets a big pop. He announces that he's going to start the AJ Styles U.S. Open Challenge, in which he uh, it's the same thing John Cena did a couple years ago. And who to open up his first ever challenge? Who comes out other than John Cena? Holy shit kind of mo. Everyone was nuts. Uh, they really teased us crazy that we're, they're going to do the match. And they even got me at the end. Oh shit, we're going to see it. They had uh, Cena get on the mic. He announces he's accepting. Uh... They had, you know, they both ha- took their shirts off, had the ring announcer come in, introduce the match. He had the referee holding up the belt. Holy shit, we're going to see it. And, of course, Kevin Owens comes out, talks some trash to Cena, says no one wants to see you. Then Rusev comes, and uh, KO and Rusev beat up uh, Cena and Asia. I don't know if we're going to see a tag team match tonight. Maybe we'll see it uh, next week on SmackDown, most likely next week, because you already have two matches uh, that are tonight. But it's possible it ends up being the main event tonight. But I thought that was a really solid segment. And for a minute here, oh shit, we're going to really see that match. Up next is Ty Dillinger against Jinder Mahal. So obviously, I, you know, Dillinger is losing. So, I mean, this guy's done nothing. Um, yeah, it's not working with Dillinger. They haven't done anything with him. I don't know what his character is. I don't know what's his identity. I just don't know what to do. I don't know how they can book Ty Dillinger. I don't think they know his character. But, um, I mean, he's losing to Mahal now. Oh shit, matches tonight. There's a tag team match tonight. They just announced it. Now uh, Mahal and uh, Dillinger are having a match. Mahal sucks. The match was not very good. He beats Dillinger. After the match, he goes on and on. Uh, his promo absolutely sucked. He doesn't have much confidence. He doesn't talk with much conviction. He talks very soft sometimes. He doesn't come off convincing. He feels like he's, he seems nervous at times. He seems like he's scripting lines. He just doesn't seem like he's actually, uh, nothing seems natural. And he kept facing the different cameras. I don't know what he was doing. I'm sure Vince and Kevin Dunn were flipping out. Uh, I don't know what the hell he was looking at. He kept looking into one side of the crowd. And he sucks as champion. Mahal is no good, in my opinion. Uh, uh, hopefully Cena takes the ball off him at SummerSlam because I think he's beating Gordon for sure. And he announced we have to see that Punjabi prison on SmackDown next week. So we have to see that fucking shitty structure twice. Punjabi prison sucks. So Xavier Woods is facing Jey Uso. And this is a match uh, after last week's awesome rap battle. Uh, well, look. Here's how I'm going to address this. If you know the rap battle, there was, of course, the line about don't get rid of her like your boy Xavier Woods, which, unfortunately, WWE decided to edit out. And, of course, uh, you will never probably hear that clip again because the person he's referring to is Paige, and we know the situation. All you have to do is look her name up on Twitter right now. You'll see tweets all everywhere. Page and Del Rio, apparently there's some domestic uh, violence. He's reportedly been abusing her. There's a TMZ video of her first screaming. Yeah, don't really want to talk too much about that. Just saying I really hope uh, Paige is okay. 
and hopefully this uh this situation is handled before um you know it's it's not looking good and i hate to use the this word but i mean it, you feel like a tragedy is about to happen uh you know it just feels like del rio is just a ticking time bomb so uh hopefully everything's good on page anyway watching this match uh they just ejected the new day so <laughs> that was actually kind of funny uh and Jimmy Uso, so it's Jay Uso and uh, Xavier Woods. Don't really care at all about this match. I mean, Jay Uso is the shitty Uso. Everyone knows he sucks. And uh, Xavier is okay. Uh, Xavier got the win. He uh, he hit this uh, elbow drop from the top of the rope uh, Xavier, or, uh, while uh, Jay Uso was in the ropes. That was actually kind of cool. So they gave New, uh, New Day got the advantage this week. Um... I'm not sure when they're going to do Corbin and Nakamura. I'm just hoping. I just hope they do the right thing. And please do not let Corbin beat Nakamura. I mean, Corbin can't. I don't care. It's probably going to be a DQ to set up Battleground. But they can't have Corbin beat Nakamura. If he does, man, this you're just going to hear me explode in a gigantic rant. So Shane McMahon's in the back. All the women are there. They're all bitching. They're all, they all want a title shot. So he makes a fatal five-way elimination match at Battleground with uh, Becky, Charlotte, Natalia, Tamina, and Lana, of course. I mean, they always have to have Lana involved. Uh, then they all leave. And uh, Carmella, or first, well, Naomi was there first. She wanted to find out who she was going to face. Then Shane made the match. Then you have Carmella coming up, uh, brings a, a sheet uh, from her attorney demanding that he reinstate James Ellsworth. And Shane rips it up. Also worth noting, Daniel Bryan is not on the show tonight. He had uh, Shane, you know, wishing him well on the cell phone. So no Daniel Bryan tonight. Um, so after that. They show Baron Corbin an interview with Renee Young, and god damn it, this guy fucking sucks. I don't want to see him. He is a complete loser. He has no confidence. He has the worst luck I've ever seen. He has the worst hairline ever. He's a fucking bum, and that match is next. Nakamura's entrance is still awesome. It's still, uh, even though we shouldn't do a whole bunch of times on the main roster, it's still, uh, it's still the best entrance in the company, easily. And again, man, he better not lose this match. I am hoping, I, th- I think probably ends on some kind of disqualification, setting up the match for a battleground, because I think they're having a match for sure. Just if Corbin wins, even if Nakamura gets his win back, I mean, God, you can't have Nakamura lose. And Corbin's just a fucking bum. I think this guy is one of the worst guys on the roster. He is shit. He has no personality on the mic. He talks like a loser. He doesn't have much confidence when you hear him talk. He's not menacing. He has the shittiest look I've ever seen. I mean, he looks like shit. He's fat. He's a huge belly button. He's he has the worst hairline. His hairline's just receding like a like he's like like his hairline recedes like he's in his sixties. It's like Hulk Hogan hairline. It's just so bad. He's such a bomb. He's just there because he's tall. So they don't even have a match. Nakamura actually went up to him and jumped him uh, before the match started. And uh, they just they went to the crowd. It wasn't that big of a brawl. It was like a three-minute brawl. I mean, we just saw Joe and Lesnar go through an announce table on Sunday. But now this match gets called off. It's funny how, uh, you know, it, it wasn't even that big of a brawl. And then they separated them. So they're not going to even have them wrestle yet. So, I mean, the match is on battleground. After that, they show AJ and Cena backstage. Uh, they're talking about the last match they had, and you know they tease another match. It'd be kind of cool. I mean, the, the, the SummerSlam match and the uh, Rumble match were both excellent. And then uh, after that, uh, I forgot to mention Shane McMahon actually made a tag team women's match with Charlotte and Becky against uh, Tamina and Natty. God damn it! I mean, Tamina's so bad she'll ruin the match, but it, it's fine, I guess, for this show. This company is so ass backwards. In this woman's tag match, they have Tamina, who's terrible, pinned her best woman's wrestler, Charlotte. What else can you say? Oh, I'm afraid they're going to have Tamina win that battleground. I think they might actually do this big push with Tamina and Lana. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're pushing the least talented woman in Tamina and Lana. They're both trash. Tamina's awful. She's been in that company forever. She's not good. She's awful in the ring. The only reason she's there is because her daughter is Jimmy Superfly killing your girlfriend, Snuka. And uh, Lana is just there, obviously, because of her luck. She is terrible. Oh, man. Why are they pushing these two? They're fucking horrible. Anyway, uh, main events on next. Uh, tag t- uh, maybe not next, but it's going to happen soon. Really good main event to have seen in sales against Rusev and uh, KO. 
So they show a backstage skip at Maria. She's uh, yelling. She wants Sami Zayn. She sees uh, none other than in the locker room. Chad Gable, she asks him, where's Sami Zayn? And, uh, man, it makes Gable look like an idiot. So I guess it's Sami Zayn and Mike Kanellis at a battle. But I think Zayn's going to have to do the job. So great. Oh, man, whatever. I I just do not see anything in that character. The only thing that's over with uh, Maria and Mike is their theme music. And we never get to see them use their theme music because they're barely ever on TV. So a lot just happened. They show Sami Zayn with Maria Canales and Mike Bennett. He's trying to say I'm sorry, and he goes off. Well, why am I apologizing? They go off back and forth. Maria slaps him hard, and then uh, Mike takes a glass face and hits him over the back with it. Um, so obviously they're gonna have a match. And then, then they officially announce uh, Nakamura and Corbin for Battleground. And then after that, uh, they show some long thing with fashion police i guess they're doing the fashion x files now so now they're parodying the x files uh yeah they're, they're there and then they see zach Ryder and mojo raleigh comes so obviously they're going to split up that tag team it's a tag team that's not over you know what, what's wrong with american alpha where the fuck is jason jordan has he completely fallen off the face of the earth we see gable now where the fuck is jason jordan it's been forever since we've seen jason jordan oh my god anyway main events next so Cena and Styles beat Owens and Rusev in a good main event. It was entertaining. They had a solid match. She went through a commercial break. Crowd was into it. Um, Cena gets the one with the AA on Owens. So after the match, Cena and Styles celebrate for a while. They're celebrating, and then it stops, and they have a stare down. And it looks like AJ is about to tom with the US belt, but then Cena just raises his hand. And it seems like they're teasing that. They're teasing a third match. There's a part three. It's one-to-one. I mean, they've had other matches actually before. I think Styles actually beat him before. Uh, before SummerSlam, but you know they've had the the classic match at SummerSlam, classic match at the Rumble. I think they might have a, a third great match. We'll see. Um, but they definitely tease something with Cena and Styles, maybe another match. And I think that's definitely a possibility. So um, you know, it, you know, Kevin Owens gets pinned again. Um, SmackDown overall, I mean, he had a lot of stuff. It was the mo- the show was mostly done. Uh, to set up the pay-per-view, which is, I guess it's what it's supposed to do. But, I mean, it just wasn't really felt like a very entertaining show. Um, I mean, it, it, was, it was a build-up show to Battleground. There's, two, there's one more week after this. And that'll be the go-home show when all the angles get probably should be uh, a lot more heated. But um, I thought the show was okay this week. <laughs> 